the last video we adjusted the depth so something like this star is always on top of other distant stars but now we're going to deal with lighting because it might be a little strange that we're this close to this orangey star and the platform is this blue, light white blue so we want to make some directional lights if we want something bright we can't have a hundred directional lights coming from the world that's a little crazy but we can make something for big objects like this so in object info we're going to add another int and it's going to be called brightness and if this is zero it's going to do nothing but otherwise it'll correspond to the intensity here of a directional light so in space background, just find the object that you want. I have star two, count is always one and it's big. And I'm just gonna make brightness three. Now in our code, we could just make a game object and add the light component to it. But there's a lot of settings here and we just basically want what we already have. So just drag this directional light into your assets resources folder and rename it to space light or space object light. Now here, we're gonna to wanna to have that space object light prefab. And just like this prefab, we're gonna load it right at the start. And it was called space object light with capital S, capital O and, and L or just make it match exactly. So now when we make that space object, we're gonna add one more step new light is going to be instantiating that space object light its position will be position just as we had before and for now we'll just give it the zero rotation now we want to get that light component new light get component light and we're gonna set its color to be that new color, the same color as this a space object, because that just makes sense. And the intensity is going to use the object info's brightness. And in fact, I think I'm gonna change brightness up here to a float. You don't have to, but I'm going to, and save that. Go into Unity. I was just checking up here, the brightness is still three, it kept it, that's good, and press play. Right, little bit of a mistake here, we're always making a, a, a light, even if there's no brightness, so that's a problem. Um, so down here on the light, we're only gonna do this if brightness is greater than zero, of course, as I said. And lastly, that new light actually has to be facing us. So just like before, the look at. And it's going to be the zero vector. The last thing you're going to want to do is in assets, resources, find that space object light again. And we want to change the culling mask because right now this bright sun is lighting up everything else all these stars shouldn't be yellow they're getting light from that star it doesn't really make sense so in culling mask just deselect space background so this light will not light up that star th that stuff anymore all right the sun is producing that bright yellow and shining it onto us so that's what we're looking for except now this might be a little funny because look at this sun it's not a very impressive sun, it's like a dim yellow. So one last thing we're gonna do is create a point light and it's gonna be click and drag, put it on the player and put it at zero, zero, zero and range, let's say a hundred. And this point light isn't actually gonna light up any of the world. We're gonna do culling mask, nothing, culling mask, space background. So this white light is only gonna light up the stars. So when we press play, that sun is a lot more impressive and so is everything else actually. You might wanna bring up the brightness of that white light just to really 
bring out all the features of that space background. Okay, so that's the random space background generator. Just uh, play around with the settings and make your own pictures and make any space background you want. I hope you enjoyed the videos.